Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today I'm going to show you a couple of new Damascos that came into the store. Before I do that, whenever I hold a Damasco in my hand, I'm like f always floored. I sit, I you know, take a step back. I'm like, wow, this thing is really nice. You know, I feel the same way when I hold a Zin, you know, one of my watches. I'm like, wow, this really feels good. What a well-built watch. Last month, uh, May, um, two, of the, two of the people from Damasco happened to be passing through New York. Had the opportunity to meet with them uh, in Manhattan, New York City, as it were. And they asked if I could just take them around, show them some sites, and we'll talk shop you know, while we kind of you know, have some fun. And my pleasure, I, I know Manhattan fairly well. And it dawned on me, you know, as I walk through Manhattan by myself on, on business or whatever, meeting friends, whatever I might be doing, I can pass all these awesome, you know, landmarks, Empire State Building, Central Park, the former Plaza Hotel, anything. And I'll look at it for a second, appreciate it, and it kind of go on my way. But to see New York City through the eyes of two foreigners, it's just like, wow. I love that they appreciate everything, and it's it makes me step back and, and look at everything and go, hey, you know what, this stuff really is cool. I mean, it's amazing all the stuff that they have in in the city, all, all these awesome sights to see. And it, you know, so it's really nice to see a city through the eyes of a tourist. And then it dawned on me when I went to go make this video, I was like, wow, that's the same way I feel about every time I hold a Damasco. You know, through my hands, past dozens of watches every day for various reasons: Seikos, Orients, Lacos. Mondi is, you know, whatever it may be. But when a Damasco hits my hands, I stop, I stare, I admire it, and I'm like, wow, this is such a really great watch. So I thought it was a really cool parallel, you know, between somebody seeing New York City for the first time and somebody who handled God knows how many watches in my lifetime, of, you know, how many watches I've held in my in, in my hands. Uh, you know, I can appreciate Damasco, you know, kind of just the same. It was pretty cool. Anyway, uh, we will head on over and uh, check them out. So today we are diving into the two new additions to the DS30 family. I carry two different DS30s currently, black dial with all white and a black dial with a white hour, white minute, and a yellow seconds hand. So the two new additions obviously are blue. We had a blue dial. Uh, the ocean is on my left with, uh, you know, white, white, white. And we have what they've coined the DS30 DS OBO. Uh, it probably stands for orange, blue. And I don't know what the other O is, stands for, but whatever. Uh, it's got an orange seconds hand. So these are the same watch except for the different colored seconds hand. Um, I happen to like this one better. But before we start, it brings me to an excellent point. Um, Damasco does offer a certain amount of customization that you can do. You know, you can get this watch with a yellow seconds hand if you wanted. Um, maybe swap some hands from another style in like the DA4 range watches. You can swap some of their hands over, um, you know, not into this one. Um, but they offer, you know, limited amounts of customization uh, as well as, you know, they do... You know, I would say almost all their watches come with anti-reflective coating on both sides of the sapphire. Uh, you can special order it so that it's just single side coated. The, the, um, only the inside, the outside does not have the coating. Uh, and then the last bit of customization that they are big into is uh, case back engraving. They can engrave anything, not just words. They can engrave photos. Um, symbols, whatever you may want. Uh, so kind of a little bit of a commercial for customized Damasco. And where that kind of leads me is that I love this watch so much or these watches that I am going to ask them to make me a custom. I think I might go with the all white. I'm, I'm not quite sure on, on the seconds hand yet, but I'm going to uh, have them engrave my company logo on the back. Uh, I will do that, and when it comes in, you know, however long it takes, probably about six weeks or so, uh, I will show it to you, but um, it's going to be mine, because I really fell in love with this watch when I saw it. The size is perfect. It's 39 millimeters, so really cool. That's my commercial for customization, so if you want to customize a Damasco, or if there's any Damasco that you see on their website that you don't see on our website, just let us know. We can get anything that they currently are making. Okay, on to the watch. Powered by an ETA 2824 movement, that's a that's your Swiss, you know, almost the Swiss standard uh, for automatic movements. 25 joules, roughly 40 hour power reserve. Uh, the uh, hands want hand winds and hacks. Screw down crown, so you have to unscrew the crown. Just popped. Two clicks. Set your time. 
one click sets your date push in wind and push in a turn to reseat the crown 39 millimeters in diameter yes 39 hair under 10 millimeters thick and just a hair under 48 millimeters on the tip to tip it does have a double coated anti-reflective sapphire crystal coated on the top coated on the bottom so it really kills all reflections and it's not a junky coating it will you know it will not easily scratch off the top surface and a lot of people are scared about that but you really shouldn't be unless you're really rough with your watches you're not going to have a problem with the coating bead blasted submarine steel a submarine stainless steel case with hardening treatment to make sure it will never take a scratch a uh, 20 millimeter lug width 200 meters of water resistance always seat that crown and we'll just talk about the price tag it's around a thousand bucks the regular ds30 the black dial with the leather strap is a little bit under a thousand this guy with the blue dial is a little bit over and it's due to this if you didn't catch it yet one of the best parts of the watch is like they made the strap for the watch they didn't it is a hirsch robbie I do sell Hirsch products. I'm familiar with the Robbie. The Robbie is not an inexpensive strap at retail. I believe it is over a hundred bucks. Uh, it is it's a sandwich strap. It's like a nylon top. I think it's like a nylon weave or a you know like a rubber nylon weave, and then full rubber on the bottom. And it is not perforated, but it's got all the notches in it to make sure it's extra flexible. And for water or anything else, sweat will easily evaporate and leave it. Just a gorgeous strap, you know, and it totally sets off all the blue on the watch. Uh, blasted stainless steel buckle to match it. Uh, black background, white number on the date. I like how that kind of gives it a little bit of a pop, but not too much. And I don't know, you can just really certainly appreciate this watch. Look at that. How, how well everything is done. Made in Germany. There's the watch. 20 bar, 200 meters. Sapphire crystal. Made in Germany. Stainless steel. All that good stuff. DS30. Damasco Company logo. Also on the crown. Ooh, drilled lugs if you want to change the strap. I don't know why you would change it. Because the strap that it comes on is totally awesome. Let's just check out what it looks like. The orange second hand. So this is the same watch. We've just uh, we've left the white second hand behind. We've done an orange. Uh, again, if you wanted a custom, they can you know do a yellow from the DS30 uh, DS30 yellow handed model. You know they, you, they do have a limited set of customizations uh, that you can take advantage of. I almost forgot we have to do a loom shot, right? So uh, let's flip out the lights and see how she glows. There you go. Super Luminova glows great, and just if you're curious, so the second hand does not glow. So in my right hand here is the orange dial version, in my left hand, uh, orange second hand version, in my left hand is the white second hand. So they do use different paints, so the second hand does not glow, so it's kind of even on both. If you look, the tail just passed, so the second hand is actually around the 22nd mark right now. Uh, easy to read, you know, hands are very, very distinguishable, and uh, the use of a registration point at the 12 o'clock you know, ensures you always know what time it is. So there she sits on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Obviously, nowhere near being too small or too large. It is absolutely perfect. It's stunning to look at. I mean, I got a smudge on the crystal there. At the right angle, the crystal simply disappears. I actually just showed this watch to my wife a little while ago and she said, and she said to me after she picked it up, she said, I thought there was no crystal on it because it really looks in an everyday setting. It's totally amazing what they can do. There I am on the strap. Easily could go larger, easily could go smaller. Uh, and I did just notice on the Robbie, look how they designed it. They've got two little nibs of rubber that stick out over here so that this keeper, it's not stitched into place. It's actually held into place. It's kind of locked in there. So that's pretty nifty. But uh, anyway, that's how she looks on my wrist. So this has been Mark from LongIronWatch.com showing you the new Damasco DS30 uh, watch with the blue dial. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. And I look forward to getting my own DS30 with the blue dial. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.